Welcome to our tech troubleshooting session. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many Duet developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a situation where their Duet project compiles perfectly in SuperDev mode, but compilation fails without any errors. Let's dive into the details. Here's a quick overview of the problem. Our viewer has a GWT project running smoothly in SuperDev mode, with all functionalities working flawlessly. However, when it comes to compiling the project, it just stops without any clear errors, only some warnings in the console. This has left them puzzled, as they can't create a WAR file to host the project on Tomcat. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's address the issue with your GVT project not compiling. First, it's important to understand that even though your project runs perfectly in super dev mode, compilation errors can still occur without explicit error messages. The warnings in your console indicate potential issues in your UIBinder files. For example, the warning about encountering a colon suggests there might be a syntax error in your UI definitions. To troubleshoot, start by reviewing the lines mentioned in the warnings. Look for misplaced characters or incorrect syntax in your UIBinder XML files. Fixing these issues may resolve the compilation problem. If the warnings do not resolve the issue, consider cleaning your project and rebuilding it. In Eclipse, you can do this by selecting Project from the menu and then choosing Clean. Finally, if the problem persists, ensure that your GT version and dependencies are correctly configured. Sometimes, updating to the latest version can resolve hidden issues. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue was resolved by identifying a function that was being called infinitely due to a mistake. After debugging and reviewing the classes, the problem was found. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.